Thank you respect for it. And Mr. Consul General, thank you, sir, for all that you do. Uh, he, too, works hard to increase the cultural and trade ties between your country and the port and the city of Houston. And then let me especially thank the Texas Turkish American Chamber of Commerce and its president, uh, Yakov, for his continued leadership uh, here and in strengthening this region's business cooperation with Turkey and particularly for arranging this luncheon uh, with the Greater Houston Partnership and particularly to honor, uh, to honor Minister Ergun. As the primary business advocate for the 10 county Houston region, the Greater Houston Partnership's mission is to help attract high wage jobs and increase capital investment while stimulating foreign trade growth. With the success in these three areas, the economic prosperity of the region is that much more secure. Our region is proud of its standing as a gateway to global markets. And while the global recession has stalled growth and opportunities for many cities and regions, because of our robust, proactive international outreach, the Houston region has stayed the course and has actually even prospered. Our continued business and cultural ties with Turkey and other important commercial and trade areas in the Near East position just well to prosper into the future. And through the years, the connection between the Houston region and Turkey has gotten stronger and more vital. As a testament to this connection, Houston forged a sister city bond with Istanbul in 1986. Since the 1980s, we have enjoyed mutually beneficial exchange of business, culture, and goodwill for more than two decades. Turkey's total trade with Houston has been steadily rising in the past five years, ranking Turkey as one of Houston's top 30 global partners. As of 2009, Total trade between Houston and Turkey reached more than $1.5 billion. The very essence of our gathering today is to work together, the Houston region and Turkey, to increase trade and business cooperation between our two economies. As what we hope will be the first of many visits by the minister, the Greater Houston Partnership is honored to have you here, and we look forward to expanding our relationship with you and with Turkey. The humanitarian, cultural, and economic activities, not to mention the efforts of the Consul General and the Texas Turkish American Chamber of Commerce, have greatly enhanced the global partnership that exists between Houston and Turkey. So again, welcome and thank you for being here and thank you for putting this luncheon together. In January of this year, President Obama announced the National Export Initiative. And the goal of this initiative is to double the share of our GDP that's attributable to exports in the next five years. As a part of that initiative, the Commerce Department in conjunction with other agencies within the US government looked at where we think the growth rates the greatest growth rates would be over the next five to ten years. And we, as any self-respecting government agency, we came, uh, created a new acronym called CIVETS, which stands for Colombia, Egypt, Vietnam, Turkey, and Indonesia. So you can see the measure of the importance of Turkey to U.S. trade is that we have identified it as a priority country to help U.S. companies export to. And in light of that, um, it's my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Mr. Hakan Tashu, who is with um, Tuscan, which is a business organization that represents U.S. and American businesses. He's out of Washington, D.C. And it's precisely these kinds of organizations, as well as the chamber, that will help us grow this trade relationship. Sir. Thank you. Thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Uh, to address such a distinguished guest in Texas. Actually, this is my third trip in the last nine months to Texas, so I'm quite uh, happy with this. And it looks like Houston is going to be one of the most important city or one of the most important destinations for all Turkish delegations in the coming months as well.
His Excellency, distinguished guests, uh, I don't want to take too much of your time, but what I would like to say, actually three things, three points I would like to make. And the first point is about my organization, who Tuscon is, what we are trying to do, and what's the value of Tuscon for uh, Texas for us. And the second thing, the Turkey-US relationship, how it's going, especially in the economic frontiers. We have a couple of uh, good news that I can uh, bring from Washington. So I'd like to tell a couple of things about that. And finally, I would like to promote my country, Turkey, uh, in here to Texans so that uh, you may think twice to come to Turkey as well. As I said, this is our third trip in the last nine months. I hope that many of uh, our business colleagues in this program are going to plan to come to Turkey soon. And we would be delighted to be uh, their partner when they're going to be in Turkey. TUSCON, Confederation of Businessmen and Industrialists of Turkey, is one of the most widespread and largest business NGO in Turkey. It's completely voluntary based. We have about uh, 16,000 members and about 50,000 companies in uh, 150 business associations. In Turkey, we have two uh, dichotomy, actually. We have the Chamber of Commerce, which is mandatory. Uh, and it's a constitutional organization, so you can say it's like a semi-government. Uh, and our organization is completely voluntary based, which makes it quite a similar organization like US Chamber in here. We have local associations in all cities in Turkey. And our main target as Tuscon is to promote international trade, is to make our business people global businessmen. That's why we organized several uh, bilateral business matchmaking programs called Trade Bridges. Uh, we organized the last Trade Bridge last June, and the next one is coming next week, actually. In, uh, in the last one, we hosted about 140 countries from uh, 140 countries and about 2,200 international businessmen. 1,400 translators work. And more than 100,000 bilateral meetings were held in three days. Expected trade volume is coming years uh, will be approximately around $5 billion. And one good note about uh, United States, actually, uh, last year, we host in this trade bridge program, we hosted about 50 companies from United States. And 15 of them came from Texas. Thanks to our uh, good company in here, Texas Turkish American Chamber of Commerce. We have to thank them a lot. They are representing our country quite well in this uh, state. And also, we are very honored and privileged that we are working with them. And we are their partner in Turkey, actually. And uh, the second thing, between US and Turkey, if you look at the numbers, the trades are almost negligible. Compare U EU trade with the US trade of Turkey, Uni European Union and United States. We have about the same size GDP, same size economies. Turkish trade with EU, European Union countries, is around $200 billion. More, about 55% of Turkey's total trade. Look at the trade numbers with uh, United States, actually. It's like uh, $11 billion imports and $5 billion exports. 16 versus 200 billion, I think, uh, should tell us something, that we ignore the economy frontier in our relationship. Via NATO, via other means of uh, Cold War institutions, we all work on security-related issues. We talk about, uh, I mean, Afga right now we are talking about Afghanistan, we are talking about Iraq, we are talking about Iran. Uh, we are talking about all sorts of issues. Name top 10 priorities of the United States in foreign policy and name top 10 priorities of Turkish foreign policy. You'll see eight, nine of those match. Which focus, which brings us that focus, that security focus, which we don't like, 